Three West uses a, a patient safety net, which is a, a monitoring system that keeps track of the patient's heart rate and um, oxygen in their system or pulse oximetry. We have done it since November of uh, 07. We were a beta test site where we were trying to work out a system that worked for nursing, that was a patient safety tool, and it um, prevented patients from deteriorating or the nurse being notified when those patients deteriorated. That involves a little probe that goes usually on a finger and judges the heart rate, the pulse wave, and the pulse oximetry. On the floor, a nurse has up to five patients. They can't be in every room every second and with their eyes on the patient. So this is a system that monitors the patient with a wide spectrum that allows you to have some normal variation in heart rate and oxygen saturation, but we can keep you safe before it falls below a very dangerous point, or we can rescue you as it is rapidly falling. It has saved lives. It has also saved patients going to the intensive care unit. We're very proud of the fact that we catch people early, we're with them, we can get the emergency um, teams to them. Or it could be very simple, it could be something that you need more oxygen, you're not breathing well enough. Well, we've given you a lot of pain medication and now we need to reverse a little bit of that because you're a little too sleepy. Nursing had input into where the monitors are, or the kind of probe they were using on a patient. They have control over the alarm limits. There is a recommended alarm limit, which is a surveillance alarm. It's a wide alarm. It's very different than tight alarm conditioning that you do in critical care. So the system is one that staff have worked with leadership, with the vendor, with the patient to make it a very safe tool for them. Any change that comes about with a new system takes a lot of um, work, effort, working with staff um, to, to engage them. If we don't engage them in the right way, it will not work. Listening to staff, engaging them, celebrating those items that they found, and working with them. So I've had the privilege of a staff who engaged this. We surveyed them at the six week mark and said, how are you doing with this? Um, what other things do we need to do? And the biggest question we have was, should we keep the system or should we no longer go on with the trial? 100% of my staff said, do not get rid of it. Of anything you've ever given me, this is the best tool you've ever given me. It's my eyes and ears. When I'm tied up in a room and I can't get there, I have confidence somebody else is going to respond and safeguard my patient. I had staff that would go and help one another learn to use this tool successfully. That is still happening. They also um, have been involved with both our administration and the vendor coming back and saying what's not working, what's the next stage, how should the monitor look. We've had some renditions of it and we've recently got something we asked for in 07 that was an addition where we can look at trending right on the central monitor. That came from the staff. And um, we needed bigger lettering and we have helped get the bigger letters and numbers on the screen so that staff nurses can see it better. They also decided how, what the height of the monitors were when they were in the room so that everybody could easily reach them. In a double room, the monitors sit side by side so we can look at one and the other. Staff did all of that. We have now been into this project for going on five years. Um, that's a very long time to keep staff engaged. And the sustainability of this is really because the staff found this to be a very useful tool that helped them at the bedside, did not put hours into their day that was not beneficial. And they found that they've really been deeply impressed with the way they can keep their patients safer. It's not unusual for a staff member, particularly a night staff member, to say to me, Nancy, we caught this early because of our Massimo patient safety system. And if we had not had it on this patient, we would have had a bad outcome. This was a team effort. It wasn't one person and it wasn't one department. It was many departments working together. And we estimated there was probably well over 3,000 people when you put all the little pieces and parts together from nursing and um, biomed, IT, um, the vendor, um, uh, the administration together. Many, many, many people added to the pot to make this a successful transition for patients and for patient safety. I'm very proud of the staff. The staff, um, I feel like I'm just the, the coach. They're the team. They've done the work.